just a few thoughts on on stone lifting and on what I've been doing this past year. Um, just kind of got talking or thinking about it a bit this morning about how much we've done so far. I mean, I remember talking to, to somebody about this at the start of the year, hoping and wishing that there was one stone, one lifting stone in Ireland, you know, hoping there was one. And through researching on the rest of finding the stone on, on Inish Moor, you know, the Moulin Porfain and Dune, the stone for the Nemo Flaherty or whatever, and being absolutely delighted that, you know, that's one, that's one, hopefully, geez, imagine if there was more. And from hoping and wishing that there was one stone in Ireland, to now finding nine historic lifting stones and I've leads for at least five more. It's just fantastic. And it's so rewarding to be a part of this because it's getting in touch with your culture, you know, I mean, with your history. And I'm, I'm not being facetious saying that, or I'm not kind of blowing it up out of all proportion. I mean, these stones are, are literally touchstones to who we are as a people. Um, of course, some are, are, are just feats of strength, you know, and that in itself is fantastic, you know, that somebody was strong enough to lift this stone or this stone and they wanted to show their power and how strong they were, you know, in the only way they really knew how back then was to lift a certain stone and people had respect for them for that. You know, you got great social status from lifting a certain stone, especially like the one on um, on Inish Man that I found in the graveyard. That got you tremendous social status. You were very well respected if you lifted that stone. But, not just strength history, but like getting in contact with our socio-political and religious history, like the likes of the flags of Den, you know, when in the penal times we weren't allowed to practice Catholicism because of English invasion. And we had to literally say mass in graveyards or, you know, in, in hidden spots in hedges and ditches. And we had hedge priests and hedge schools, you know, where we were teaching children Irish because we weren't allowed to do that, you know. And we were teaching or preaching or saying mass uh, at stones what they call mass stones. And this mass stone in, in, in Den up in County Cavan was also used as a strength test at funerals. So, you know, so that's getting us physically in touch with like the penal times back in the 16th or 17th centuries, you know, which is very, very important. It's something that we don't think about or, or talk about a lot. Also, you know, the likes of the one on, on Inish Moor, you know, that's getting us in touch with our cultural past, you know, um, our great artists and, and poet laureates and, and writers who, who are very well respected around the world. You know, and the, one, of the, one of the greats as well as Limo Flaherty, and he wrote a story called The Stone, which I'd highly recommend anybody to, to read. And that's about the stone and Inish Man. So that's getting, getting us in contact with our, our great cultural and, and, and um, like I said, artistic past, which again is very important and a part of who we are. And this stone I'm after finding, and I'm not going to say too much about it yet, but it's going to get us in contact with our mythological past, which I absolutely love. You know, getting in contact with with our mythology. Um, I'm going up to in two weeks' time to to get a lift on this. So I mean, these stones that I'm finding, they're not just stones; they're touchstones to our culture, to our history, to our heritage, and to who we are as Irish people. And it's a very, very important and and, and really, really cool thing to be part of. So, like I said, our socio-economic, political, religious, um, artistic and mythological pasts are all here in these stones. So I urge anybody just to come out and to lift them or even just to go out and to touch them and get physically in contact with our ancient past. Um, it's it's a great quest that I'm, I'm on. I'm really, really enjoying it. So and anybody has any more information, please let me know. And anybody wants to donate to the cause, I'd really appreciate it. But um, it's just been a really rewarding couple of couple of months and more to come. So I just want to say thanks to everybody for all your support and I'm going to keep going with it. Okay, good luck.